Hello? Hey. Oh, no, I'm in class right now. Yeah, I know I'm homeschooled, but it's still class. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you when I get out. All right, bye. That is disgusting. I just want to eat a bowl of cereal. I swear, if he's even one minute late, I am going to be so distraught. What are you looking at? Nothing. Don't worry about it. So how was your class? It was all right, I guess. I mean, if you're into that. So what exactly were you looking at? A magazine. What magazine were you looking at that you were so ashamed about? Preppy Teen Quarterly. It's just that... I'm really sick of all this whiny stuff. I just want to change. I mean, this is stupid. Wow, you look different. I feel different. I feel happier. I wish I could share this feeling with the world. You have inspired me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick Cruz, and I will be your host for today. We are at an undisclosed location because we will be sharing some information about an impending catastrophe. We now go live by satellite to another undisclosed location for the specifics of this breaking news. Hello, Mr. X. We have you live. Please tell us about this vital information. I am an alien from the future, and I've seen what happens to your planet. Scientists have tried to warn you about California falling into the water, but everyone keeps ignoring it. If you live on the West Coast, you must move now. I'm sorry. I have to go. I've said too much. Get me out of here. Beam me up. to receive some public reactions. Hello, sir. What is your name? Josh Weisenheimer. Well, Mr. Weisenheimer, what do you think about the alien's prediction? Well, when you hear something like that, someone has to wonder. <coughs> hey, what's that sound? Look over there. Well, I can't really see what you're talking about, but... Oh, I think I see it. Oh. Uh, he's not here anymore. Where'd he go? Uh... I guess they beamed him up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As we approach New Year's Eve and say goodbye to 2016, Congress is still debating about the disappearance of California. This has been the headline news for this year. This is Nick Cruz reporting. Have a happy new year. Well, this isn't scary.
Welcome to ACC Yoga. Yoga is a discipline, so commit yourself to your practice and only go as far, far as your body will allow today. Yoga was originally developed so that people could sit in periods of meditation for longer. They found that practicing yoga would help them from becoming stiff and sore. Some other benefits of yoga include natural weight management, strength and flexibility, cardiovascular health and emotional health and well-being. When we return, we will perform our first posture of the day. Welcome back. Our first posture of the day is Dande Mana Danyarasana, standing bow. The goal of this posture is to stretch the hamstring of the standing leg while stretching the front of the spine with a back bend. We're gonna go ahead and begin by standing in the middle of the mat, feet together, toes and ankles touching. Bend the left arm up, elbow at the side of the body, palm facing up. And then reach that left arm straight down, pick up the left foot from the inside at the ankle, Bring the knees together, pull the stomach in strong, lift that right arm straight up, and then just slowly start to lift that left foot up and back. As you lift your foot, your body will start to come down naturally. Balance comes from even kicking and stretching. So you just wanna to continue to lift that left foot up and back using the hamstring and the buttocks of the left leg. Keep the right leg straight and strong. Continue kicking, allowing your upper body to open up towards the left side of the room. You're gonna feel stretchy on the front of your thigh. Your chest opens. Kick up to maximum, and then slowly release. Coming out the same way you came in, try standing. Try the standing posture for about 30 seconds, building up to a minute. When we return, we'll move on to our next posture. Welcome back. Our final posture today is bent knee triangle, or trikonasana. The goal is to strengthen the entire body. So we start by taking a left, step to the left of our mat, feet together, arms come up overhead from the sides, palms touch, take a giant step across your mat, and then your arms come down to parallel. You want such a wide step that your ankles are under your wrists, and then pivot on your left foot, so your left foot is parallel to the top of the mat, and then twist the right hip in a little bit, bringing the toes with you. Then just bend the left knee so the left thigh is parallel to the floor with the knee directly above the ankle, and then move to the left, and just pivot so your, your arms, so your left elbow is in front of your left knee. First, we're strengthening the legs, so pull the ankles towards each other, activating the inner thighs and pelvic floor. And then pull the stomach in, keeping straight lines along the sides of the torso, and strengthen your arms, stretching them away from each other, looking up to the fingers of your right hand. And then slowly release the way you came in. You wanna go ahead and try to keep this posture in perfect alignment. So start at 15 seconds and build up to a minute, practicing the posture on each side equally. We'll begin, we'll return with some final thoughts. Thank you for joining us today. Yoga is a practice, so continue to work on these postures daily, building strength in your body and your mind. As you continue these postures, you'll find that you have better body awareness, more strength and flexibility, and you'll have better muscle tone. If you'd like, you can add meditation to your practice, doing so before or after practicing these postures. Yoga can be a great supplemental workout or can be your sole workout. Namaste.
Music. It's been around for centuries, and nothing can quite compare to it. From its soothing rhythms to its influential tones, music has left its mark on mankind. It has evolved with humans throughout the ages, from basic chants to complex works of art. Music is unique in the fact that it comes from humans, not nature. It can move us from the heights of our emotion and to the depths of our emotion. It can help us out of a depression. It can even make us move to its beat. Indeed, music is completely abstract and profoundly emotional. It has the ability to show us our inner states and feelings, bring solace and comfort, and surely music will evolve with us humans into the future and be as profound as it is then as it is today. Growing up, I was often the subject of bullying and ridicule among my peers. I had no friends, nobody I could relate to. Everyone looked at me as a loser, an outcast. But now, now something's entered my life that has changed me forever. Now I'm part of something bigger and nothing will ever bring me down. I even get really hot chicks. Thanks, Delta Rufa. Uh, didn't notice you guys are here already. Welcome to Intro to TV Tech. In this class, you'll learn how to handle TV equipment and work on your very own production. Now, I want you guys to look at each other. Say hi, shake hands, smell each other if you have to, because in this class you'll have to bond and connect like a team. Better yet, like a family, where your professor is your mother and the TAs are the in-laws you never used to like to begin with. During the semester, you will learn how to operate the following. Lighting, audio, and of course my favorite, the camera. Also, towards the end of the semester, you will have a chance to be a director in your very own this is setup three, isn't it? It is? Okay. Well, that's all the time I have for you. Good luck. And cut. Beautiful hair extensions for all types of hair. I love my hair extensions. I wouldn't go anywhere without them. Hair comes from all over the world, from places such as China, India, South America, and England. Donors vary in age. The most expensive hair comes from younger donors. Hair is then custom colored and textured to satisfaction and then distributed throughout the US, Africa, Europe, and the world. Remember, next time your hair gets damaged from chemicals, try sew in hair extensions. This is the true story of Alice's Restaurant Massacre. It all began in Stockbridge. I was visiting my cousin Alice for Thanksgiving. And as a favor, I loaded up all the garbage from the restaurant in the back of my truck. And as I was heading down to the city dump, um, I took a turn a little too hard and the tailgate flew open, <clears throat> spilling all the trash over a 15-foot cliff. I uh, headed back to the restaurant, I didn't really know what else to do, and as, as I walked to the door, there was Officer Obi, and he had found the garbage from Alice's restaurant, and he was wanting to know the one responsible to take him down to the station. To... <laughs> Officer Obi took my wallet, he took my belt, he even took all the toilet paper out of my cell. He kept telling me I was nothing but trouble, and every time I tried to explain myself, he'd tell me to save it for the judge. So the next day when I finally saw the judge, he fined me $50 and made me pick up the garbage. And Officer Obi was pretty upset that they had to let this hippie go. Some years later, uh, up in New York City, I had to go to Whitehall for the draft. And after all their tests and evaluations, I was asked if I had ever been arrested or if I'd ever been to court. So I began to tell him the story about Stockbridge and Alice's restaurant when he interrupted me and told me to go sit on the Group W bench. 
A little bit later, uh, Sarge came up and asked if I thought I was moral enough to join the army. And I said, Sarge, I may not be moral enough to kill people after being a litter bug. Needless to say, it was all just a formality. No matter what I said, they were going to send me off to the war. And they did. And that's how Arlo Guthy came up with the song Alice's Restaurant Massacre. Hear that? That's the sound of nature, my friend. Isn't this great? Just two dudes hanging out alone in the woods? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's great. Um, I'm gonna go get those snacks we brought. All right, don't be too long now. Where'd you go, man? Hello? This is she? Are you serious? Oh, I'll be right there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh, it's you. Patrick's gone. I'm so sorry. What do we do now? I guess we have to get a new one. He was our everything, our baby. Our child that we could never have. I know he was. Babe, thanks for telling me about this website for free MP3s. Now I can get jiggy with it and it cost me a dime. Hold up, babe. Who is it? FBI, open up. Babe, let me call you back. It's the cops. How can I help you? Ma'am, you're under arrest. Arrest? Arrest for what? Did you download Will Smith's jiggy with it? Yes, a friend sent it to me. This must be some sort of mistake, right? I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. It is a crime to download illegal music or movies. So you're coming with us. Illegal what? I can't believe this is happening to me. You know there are murderers and rapists out there, and you're arresting me for this? This is stupid. Yes, it is stupid. Stupid of you downloading illegally. Did you know that the music industry is in shambles because of people like you? And the movie industry can't make their billions of dollars because you rather sit at home and download a bootleg. Illegal, Illegal downloading. downloading. It's, it's against, against the law. law. Don't, Don't do it. it. You, you will, will get, get caught. caught. Ma'am, turn around. Let's take her downtown. And after the gifts, get some donuts because I'm starving. Hey, that's got a copy of Avatar 2, Last of the Smurf People. You want to watch after our shift? Hell yeah. Wait, what? Honey, can you see who's at the door? Sure. Come on in. Hey, Richard. Hi. Wow, you look so beautiful today. Thank you, Richard. Is uh, Adam here? Um, he's actually taking a shower, but he's not going to be long. Do you want to hang out and wait a little bit? No, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see him later. You look so beautiful and so nice that I can't resist. Okay, two seconds. That's it. Think about it. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Okay, but just for two seconds. Who was it? It was Richard. Um, he said he couldn't stay any longer. He was in a little bit of a rush, and he said he'd catch you later. 
Okay, but did he give you that $1,000 check that he borrowed from me last week? Oh my God. No! Bro, I cannot believe I got absolutely nothing, nothing accomplished during spring break. Yeah, man, I didn't get anything done either, honestly. I guess I got a little carried away with myself. I went on a three-day camping trip with my boys, man. We made hot dogs. I love hot dogs, man. Especially the ones cooked on grill. Dang, I hate being back at school, you know what I mean? No, I don't. At least you didn't have to work over spring break. You can't be as bummed as me to be back. Bro, you must have really suffered. I mean, I had all these parties this weekend. I didn't see you at one. I had even one. What's up with that? I don't want to go into it, man, honestly. I had to work, and plus I was swamped with homework, too. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, it's OK, dude. You straight. Man, you should have seen how many people showed up to the party, man. Boy, was I out of it, man. I even did some things that I'm not even proud of. I let the girls paint my fingernails, man. But you know what? I had a good time regardless, though. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, I got a uh, complaint that you guys were being a little too loud, so would you all mind either going into one of our study rooms or maybe one of the group designated areas? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Hey, where do you want to go study, man? Study? I thought you had to study, bro. Nah, man. I was just following you. Oh, well, sure. Let's get up out of here, then. <laughs> What's going on? Where am I? Having trouble trying to find your way, Mike? Who are you? Isn't it obvious, Mike? Or do we have to spell it out for you? We? Yes, we, Mike. I don't need your help. I need to get out of here. What do you want? We're here to help you, Mike. You need our help, Mike. I don't need your help. 